super excited because I'm about to do an unboxing video, which I have not done in so long. I do know the contents of this box, but sort of like a purse unboxing. Um, let me just make sure I don't got my address on here and all where. Um, but this is what the box looked like when it came. Very just, just boring, boring box. And it's also very like discreet with the return address. It says. BAL online, so I think that's good because I feel like when companies put their like brand across boxes, like people know what's inside the box. And since this is a higher priced item, like I really appreciated that it came kind of discreet, you know, just in case don't know what your neighbors are, you know, like this is the first place I lived in where my neighbors are like shady as fuck. Like I'm not saying my direct neighbors, but I live in this huge, huge complex that sometimes they leave the packages downstairs or people in the office be opening them. It's just, it's not a cute look. It's just not. But Anyways, aside from that, I'm really excited that this box got to me safely and unopened. So I'm going to do an unboxing for you guys. So excited. I actually was just going to like unbox this and I was like, I need to do a video. Let's do a video. Let's do an unbox a video together. Okay. Mm. How does this work? I'm always so confused on how they... Mm. She Hulk it right there. Yay! I am so happy this came y'all. I don't even know. Like, oh, it's heavy too. So, okay. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so this is what the box looked like. It says Balenciaga. I was totally looking for something completely different than this bag, and I ended up seeing the bag, and I was like in love with it. I was looking for this like pink leather tote. I was watching High School Musical. Was it three or two? She had this like big pink tote, and then I was like, oh, it'd be really cool if it was like leather. I think it was. I think she did have leather. She had like the pink leather boots. I think it was High School Musical three. I know, I'm so fucking crazy. Like I'm obsessed with Sharpay. And I was like, so I was looking for that. I was doing like a Google search and going under the shopping and everything, and I just actually came across this one, which I'm like, you know what? That's even cooler, and it's something I actually use like all the time. So this will be my new everyday bag. So this is how it comes. Little envelope to have all your Balenciaga goodies. I should have kept these from day one. If you're gonna start purchasing designer bags, whether it's one or you're gonna start doing a collection of them, I highly, highly recommend keeping these. I know that probably sounds like, duh, you're an idiot if you don't, but duh, I'm the fucking idiot that didn't, because I don't have a lot of my original boxing. I don't have a lot of the original like paperwork. So if one day you ever do decide to resell it, or if you ever go broke, which is probably my case, you know, um, uh, if I resell it, I probably just won't get as much value as I could have if I had like authenticity. Because I know when I buy stuff off eBay, I'm always looking for that authenticness. You know what I'm saying? Um, so definitely always keep that, and try to always keep your dust bags too. Um, I haven't always done that either. I've been doing better as of late, but. And sometimes these things do get in the way, and I totally get it. But if you can do it, keep them. So you're all probably throw away this box. But I'll keep like the I'll keep the original dust bag and of course the card. So this is what the dust bag looks like. I'm obsessed with Balenciaga. It's probably my favorite designer purse line. As far as designers go, I used to love Louis Vuitton. I mean, maybe I just like kind of got over Louis Vuitton. I still think Louis Vuitton purses are beautiful. Or Louis Vuitton, as they say. No, I do think Louis Vuitton are beautiful purses. Chanel is absolutely gorgeous. I feel like Chanel is very like. I have two Chanel and I spent so much fucking money on them. They're the most expensive I've ever spent on a purse. Um, I think it's just a kind of everyone has one and they're also easily knocked off. I don't know. They're very just, I want to say basic, even though I have two. So I know that sounds like it sounds shady, but I'm not trying to say it's shady. But they're just like basic purses. But when you want to look classic and pretty and you want to look like, hey, I'm fucking rich right now, you put on the Chanel. Um, and then, of course, I was obsessed with Valentino for a hot minute. I definitely like their shoes the best of any like luxury designer brand. But as far as purses go, I'm a Balenciaga fan. Again, they are they have very all similar looks, so it's not like you're gonna be super unique. Or you're gonna be a special snowflake for having one. But I just like the durability, the sturdiness, the colors. Just they last forever. You can literally take them through a war zone and they would survive. Um, because I've done that with a lot of Balenciaga. So this is what this one looks like. Ooh, this is really, it's a different color than it looked online. It looked more like of a hot Barbie pink. This is what the bag looks like. This is like a lot different than it looked online. I got this from the Balenciaga store. But, see online it looked, it just looked um, like Longer, maybe I got the wrong one. Let me see the style. I love this bag. I think it's, you know, it's like the worst unboxing ever. It's like, oh, and it's this. No, I really like that bag. I love pink. I don't have a pink Balenciaga bag. I have like a baby, baby, baby pink Balenciaga, but I don't have. Let's just see the style so no one, you know. I'm not saying it's not the right one. I'm just saying it looks a lot different. Um, thank you for shopping with Balenciaga. Classic Velo handbag. 
I mean, it's the, it's the same price, I'm saying that, but um, it just looks a lot different. Um, but I love it, I think it's beautiful, and I'm actually gonna keep it because it is actually more true to the Sharpay color that I like, which was that rose. It just looked more of a Barbie pink, and it looked a lot larger. But I will say this is larger than a normal Balenciaga, so maybe it was just a sizing with the model sort of thing, um, because I do like that this is, when I say larger, I just mean it's a deeper purse. Um, Balenciagas are more long, like the traditional ones, they're more like long, and you can't get as much deep. Um, which is good because then you're not like hurting the bag or yourself. But this is really cute too. I still really like this. I mean, yeah, it's a oh yeah, oh it's a lot deeper than I mean, which is what I wanted. I love bags you can just throw things in, and this is a bag you can just throw things in. Um, they have of course the you know one pocket here, and then there's this you know bags need to stop making these two pockets. No one's phone fits in there anymore. You can get like a lip gloss and a tampon if you're lucky. Um, but yeah, I love, and I love that it's dark too, like it's really, really dark so that way if you have a pen or something spills inside, it's not going to be like, oh, I fucked up my really expensive purse. Um, this does have tassels on zippers, this is double zippers, so that's kind of cool, and it has little tassels, which I think makes the Balenciagas unique. I think what makes you Balenciagas unique in looks wise is the tassels and the hardware, and even like the braiding of the like handles, I feel, make it definitely unique, and I love that it has the double strap, because you know me and my fat arms can't get through that, so it has the double strap, which is amazing. Um, and it's a really, really gorgeous bag. It does have that distressed leather already. It's not a structured bag, so you can literally just like throw it down, throw it back there. You know what I mean? Like it's a, it's a durable bag. And that's exactly what I need for like an everyday purse. I've been struggling to find like a good everyday purse for the summer, and I think this is absolutely perfect. And again, I feel like you could take this to the beach. Did I just tangle this up? What did I do? You could just take it to the beach, or you could take it. Oh, oh, bougie. It's got a little mirror in the front pocket. I have, a, I think all Balenciaga do, if I'm not mistaken. But I do love this color, actually. It's a completely different color than what I, what looked pictured online. And it, but I, I like it because it is, it's a rose color, and um, it's kind of even picking up on camera, just a lot like more of a Barbie pink, like in person. It's more of that antique rose, like if that makes sense. But it's absolutely gorgeous. It does have rose in the name, so you should know it's going to be a little darker pink than you would expect from like a Barbie pink. But all in all, it's a really, really cute bag. I love that it has this huge strap, so you can literally just, you know, go out and shoulder it. And I think it's so adorable. Let me just... Yeah, so cute. Alice in Wonderland, this outfit is like not matching. Yeah, it's a really long strap. It's really, really nice fit. I really, really love this purse. It's so Barbie-esque. And I haven't done a purse unboxing, so there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little shorter than my other ones, um, but I'm about to film a story time video because it was a story time video that just happened recently and I didn't even think about sharing it until I put on this shirt and I was just like, I have a story time video that would actually go great with that shirt. So I'm gonna actually film one that's gonna be a little longer, so hopefully this wasn't too short. But if you guys like these unboxing videos, whether they're long or short, definitely let me know because I do get a lot of cute packages. I, I open a lot of them on Snapchat or my second channel, youtube.com slash life. Um, but if you guys want to see them on like, the main channel, like more unboxing type videos, I'm always unboxing. My whole life is just me cutting open boxes. Like literally, that's my life. Um, so if you guys want to see those on this channel, definitely let me know or any other suggestions you may have. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like it. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I never say that. I feel like such a YouTuber. And um, until next time, I want to say hi to Zach Efron, my future sexy husband. And here are my kisses for my little baby fishies. Bye, guys.